Well, hello there. So, I am Chelsea, and I'm going to start my story. I'm not going to get into diagnostics. I'm not going to tell you what I have yet. You can see on the page, if you go digging a little bit, if you go jump on my TikTok, you go jump on my Instagram. If you really don't want to wait for the story, you can find the story on other pages. Uh, but I want to take it slow on my YouTube page. I want to take you page by page what actually happened, the truth. Um, there's so many small details that I'll probably go backwards and forwards. I have some brain fog. I've had a lot of seizures, so sometimes my brain takes a bit. Um, I apologize if I freeze up. Um, sunglasses are for light sensitivity for another issue. We'll get to all of that. Probably not in this video. Um, but before all of this, I was a full-time working model and actress working on TV. My biggest client was Evine, now called Shop HQ. I was working all over the country and um, one day my life changed literally forever in a split second and what I have to tell you right now is it can happen to you um, don't tell yourself it can't happen to you because the reality is it can and for me it can happen because sadly mine was genetic and I didn't even know it I had something genetic living inside of me, brewing, waiting for the right moment to pop out of me, and I didn't even know. I had all of the signs of it in my body, but nobody was paying attention to it and was misdiagnosing me with a lot of wrong things for a really long time. So this is a story that could have been prevented. A lot of people told me a lot of bad things along the way and I devalued myself and I normalized it. I had internal ableism. I told myself this must be normal. I told myself this must be aging. At the age of 21, this must be what aging feels like. Um, so what I have to tell you right now, this second, is you are valued, you are heard, you are seen, and the pain you are feeling is not normal. Pain is not normal. Yeah. So, um, I was living my everyday life um, in September, in August and September of 2019. Um, I'm a religious person. I'm a Christian girl. And um, that whole summer, something was moving inside of me. Looking back now. Um, it was sort of a God thing was telling me I needed to move out of the house that I was living in then. And um, I, I kept trying to ignore the calling and I didn't want to move because where I was living, I really loved where I was living. I absolutely loved where I was living. It was a paradise for me. Um, I was really happy there. It really worked out for the first time in a long time. It was a place that I called home and it finally worked. I texted my roommate and told her I think I have to move out. I told my mom that I had to move in with her and uh, she was sort of confused. Um, I had the whole summer there I went back and forth and back and forth and finally I picked a date on the calendar, called the moving guys and I said, okay mom I'm moving in with you. My mom thought, great, I'm getting old somebody to move in with me to help me do some chores. Um, so September 13th rolled around. Um, the moving truck came and um, for the week before the September 13th we moved in boxes. I moved in heavy things and I've had some back issues so I was moving things that I probably shouldn't have been moving but I had to get all these things moved in specifically on a certain timeline because fashion week was coming up so I needed to get the clothes in so I could get all of those unpacked. Um, and then September 13th, the moving truck came 
my bed was put into place, said my goodbyes, got into bed and I was in so much pain from moving, got tucked in, laid down, turned on my Netflix, and all of a sudden, um, in the middle of the night, I got up to go to the bathroom and I was sitting on the toilet and all of a sudden, I felt this sensation that I was being pulled this way. And I was like, oh, I'm having a weird back spasm. And I just felt like I was being pulled all the way this way. Like my whole body was being twisted this way, but my legs were sitting on the toilet this way. And then all of a sudden I was like, no, this isn't normal. So I was like, Chelsea, relax, it's fine. It's probably a weird muscle spasm. Just let your body pull in the direction it wants to. And so I just sort of let it pull, went to the bathroom, and then I stood up and I looked in the mirror and I noticed that my face was sort of pulling in that direction. So my bottom half was this way, my upper half was that way. And I was like, I need, I need to go to Google. <laughs> sort of walking across my room, I grabbed my phone and I remember grabbing my phone in my hand and I looked at my phone and everything started buzzing in my head, everything started to shake and I remember feeling like this, like my body was just starting to float away and I don't remember if I fell or if I got to my knees but I just remember pushing mom on my phone. And I remember just getting out the words, Bleh! and I was just, Bleh! and all of a sudden I realized I was losing my speech. And I thought I was having a stroke or something. And I could hear my mom upstairs. This is maybe at midnight. I could hear her running, I'm coming, Chelsea, I'm coming. And I could hear her feet, boom, 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 running downstairs. And she's yelling at me, what did you take, Chelsea? What did you take? And as I'm slowly, like, passing out, or, in, like, she's yelling, what did you take? What did you take? And I'm thinking, dear God, she's going to think I committed suicide. So I'm going to pause right here. God told me, for me personally, this is what I feel. I picked a random day on the calendar. I didn't pick the random day on the calendar. I personally feel that all of that was planned out. That moving inside of me was like, hey, I need you to move out of your friend's house. You need to move into your mom's house on September 13th. You are going to have your first seizure and everything is going to change. You're going to have that seizure at your mom's house because if you have that seizure out at that country house, your roommates are going to be gone. You're going to be left alone with some exotic animals. It's not going to be a good situation. You won't be able to call 911. So, back into the story now. So then I sort of disappear into time and space for a bit. I don't know what happens. And then I come to, I wake up and I'm looking at mom. And I don't know if she said it or I said it, but we mutually both knew that I think I had a seizure. And my body felt like jello. I hadn't, some people when they have seizures urinate. I hadn't urinated. Um, we just pushed it off as it was a really big day. Maybe I had a really bad, you know, a pain tolerance was really bad right before I went to bed that I barely could make it down the steps. Maybe this was just like, this was your this was your pain tolerance this was the top she sort of put me into bed went to sleep that was that um 
the next day I was supposed to have a bachelor bachelor's dinner did not go to that I slept mostly the whole day um, the next day was a wedding I went to the wedding but I was I didn't feel like myself I went and did my thing funny enough the bride wasn't really at the wedding she was sick she showed up but she never put her dress on she was throwing up in a different room so she got married from a bed in the back room <laughs> it was an interesting weekend um, so that was my first seizure and from then it just went downhill really fast I had 800 plus seizures from September 13th until Thanksgiving weekend 800 uncontrolled seizures some days I would have 50 that would just roll and roll and roll and roll some for two hours at a time they would just roll back to back to back to back to back to back they were so violent I would mom would say that she'd worry that I was gonna dislocate my shoulder the doctors would tell us there's no medication for you we can't help you that's another story but that's how the whole shebang started it was September 13th 2019 peace love and cookie monster you guys